everyone, welcome back to Amori. I've got like 30 minutes left and I'm really excited for this W and T. So let's collect these and see what happens when we solve Hangman. First, I believe we have a W. That's exciting. And then that means all that's left. One key left. It's that T. Give me a T. Thank you for giving me a T. Now what happens? What happens now? Zero keys left. I, I agree. What happens now? Oh. Welcome to black space. So glad we solved that on our own. But what? how do I get there? I pressed a button. I don't know what's happening. Please don't be spooky. Oh, oh, we got a spooky forest. Wait, isn't this where her house is? Oh no, the spooky hands. We need to go save Basil from the spooky hands. Look at all those spooky hands. And what is definitely lava and not fruit juice. We need, we need to go, we gotta go, go get Basil. Oh, hate that noise. Hate that noise. Don't know what that noise was, but I hated it. Oh, it was the floor. Oh, and it's the little shadow dude. Who's totally spooky. Not by shadow dude. Oh, hey, look. Shadow person. Hi, shadow person. I believe we have a date at Basil's house we need to go to. Now, how do I get there? Okay, I see we're back here. Let's go into this warp hole, see where it brings us. Oh, gross. Swimming through what I'm assuming to be pink juice. Also, look at all the tiny hands. You have come again to seek the truth. Each time your, your adventures may be desperate. Dis disparate? Dispa disparate. I think that's the word desperate. But as your journey nears its end, it will always lead you back here. The truth, the truth is always the same. Okay. The path to the truth was once here, but it has been removed. It was moved to the at a lighthouse in a pier. Then to a library banished deep underground, and after to an old barn on a distant planet. And, this time, it will be in the heart of a vast forest. So those were all places we visited. The barns where we did got the squeak people. No matter how many times the path is concealed, the flower boy will always find it. And your dear sister Mari, she will always guide you to it. Even as hollow shells, they will continue to evolve, and each time they will grow wings and fly too close to the sun. It is their nature. They are the only ones who know, and one has carried it with her to her grave. What does that mean? Well, okay, so Mari, whatever they know, Mari knew till death may no be death may be no danger here, but the memories of them do not fade so easily. Many times, your friends have met with an unfortunate fate. Although they they are revived time and time again, the most haunting stay in this world, even if only their bones remain. The long lost ones sink here to the bottom of the deep well and become nothing. You have forsaken them, yet they still yearn for your care. Their souls know nothing but how to scream for help. Do you take pity on them? Still a bit confused. Your dear sister Mari, with a bad knee, you could not bear for her to die again, so she was given the safety of a picnic blanket. Yet, it is her nature to leave and to protect, and when she does, she will leave you again and be born anew with the undying soul that you have cursed her with. I have cursed her with. Did I do something to her? The souls assigned to your friends, they are fragile, must be protected, and so they must remain asleep. Yet, 
The path to the truth is clearer to your most precious room than ever before. Will you be able to bury it this time? Perhaps it is too late for you. What are you saying? What are they saying? Oh, hey, look, a window. Well, that's exciting. I might want to... Do I need to... Should I heal? Or am I okay? I'm going to assume I'm okay for now. You know of the keys to the other realm. They are different each time, but they will unlock the same door. The end of this journey will lead to suffering, but if you do not face this, you cannot continue. This form, though it has not shown its true e self, is evil. You will not see that unless you fight it. When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into this world and like into this world like a thick fog. You will know when it happens. It has already happened before. Okay, so we've seen the fog. At that time, return to where the truth was reborn to the heart of the forest. And, like each time before it, attempt to rewrite your fate. Will you be doomed to repeat the cycle over and over, or will you break the cycle? Explore this world while you can, dreamer, until there is nothing left. Oh, hello? Hi. You gonna teleport me anywhere? I've already, I've already put welcome to the black space. I've already done that. Now, where do I go? How do I? I see. Okay, let me, let me go to the forest then? Because we're in the forest now. I just need to go to Basil's house. And I believe Basil's house is just down. So let's heal, let's save, and we'll go to Basil's house and see what's there. I am very interested in what's going on, but I'm also very pressed for time. Okay, Amori. So, long story short, uh, what I got from that was there's been some evil secret. Amori knows about it. Mari knows about it. Basil knows about it. Amori is secretly evil? Maybe the secret has to do with him? Which makes sense why he's the only one that actually... Should I... Should I buy things? Should, should I buy things? have things that I can buy? Not anything good. Okay, we're just gonna not buy things for now. But we should go to... Hello? I'm, I'm heading to Basil's house, if that's what you're asking. Also, there's clearly a fog here, but I don't remember if it's still here. Uh, also, uh, should I... Should I water all the plants again if they're dying? Oh, look at all those plants. They're all dying. Hold on. I need to water them. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face toward the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Yes, I'm, I'm going to water the plants. Basil likes it. And I'm going to make sure. Or... Just kidding. I'm not. Because they're dead. Damn. Well. Guess I'm not gonna water the plants. These flowers are called the Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. So interested right now. 
Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink symbolizes admiration, orange symbolizes passion, yellow symbolizes friendship, and this goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero's like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Everyone does loves Hero. Here's a type of flower called the Gladulus, also known as sword flowers. As you might guess, they represent the strength of a character, someone who's honest with strong moral, strong moral values, someone who stands by their conventions. They remind me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Which is weird, being that she wasn't being true to herself in the real world. Cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants. They don't need much care and contrive in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even if you could take care of a cactus, Kel, even you could take care of a cactus. And this is the one that reminds you of me. Or Amari. And these, these are white tulips. Tulips aren't very flashy plants. They're not too big or small. It's not too elaborate or flamboyant. If I could put it in another way, I guess I would say they're comfortable. Simple, modest, and perfect. Just like Sunny. Hmm. Yep, go, to the, go to the left, thank you. My left didn't want to work for a second there. Hmm. Now we're at the house which is gonna be very spooky. The fog is very thick. I'm sorry, this is just a never ending little spot. Well, normally it would have, well, all the all the trees are dying or are, are dead. Get into the dead trees, that's not good. Trees should stay alive. Oh God, and there's like no trees that are It's a cute transition. I, I know, I see your bloody footprints. We're we're coming. Excuse me. Basil, best boy, I've come to save you from someone I haven't figured out who yet. Amari, I'm scared. Let's let's go back. N no. No, we gotta face our fears. Gotta be smart and face our fears. Hi! I'm assuming walk into this thing. Where's my little light that I can just travel away from? <laughs> Here goes nothing. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Let's jump. Because if we can find Basil, it'd be worth it. That's our goal. How is Amari evil? Because that's what those things said. Amari's evil. Even though he doesn't look like it. Because a lot of this has to do with like the grief of Mari passing away. We don't know how Mari passed away either. Because dying young, something had to have happened, right? Also, I've lost all my friends. They're not here anymore. Cool. Got some creepy music in the background. That's exciting. Can I still open up? Can't open up a menu of anything. Good to know. That looks like my house. Like the little stairs from my house that I would go. Hi! That's Mari. Also in a casket, so technically... We're facing our fears, I think. Why? So we're dealing with her death. We don't know how she died, though. Hmm. Oh, oh, hello. No. I say no to that. Okay, let's go into the black door, which is opposite of the white door. A black door casts a heavy shadow. Would you like to... We're opening that door, baby. Let's 
Let's go into the creepy black door and see where it takes us. Gotta face our fears. I don't know why they're calling you. Welcome to the black space. Good. Oh, look at all those keys. Look at all those keys. That's exciting because they're keys and keys. You know what I mean? Hello? Lots of doors. So this is definitely opposite of the white space we've been in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that, picnic basket? A loose wire. There is no light bulb here. Got a key. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Mari's picnic basket, would you like to save? Yes. Okay. Um, do I keep going or do I end the episode? What time is it? Oh, I've got, I've got a little bit of time. Okay. Um... We got out of white space by exploring, finding a knife, and then opening a door. We get out of black space by exploring? That bring me just right back, right back around? Right back around, okay. Why don't we follow the wire, see where that brings us. I assume we also can just look into door, hi. Hi. Stranger, why must you take that cursed form? It is indeed strong and can protect you, but if you rely on it too often, what you will sacrifice can never be reclaimed. You are here again, dreamer. To what do we owe the occasion? Are you running out of time? No, talk to me more. Without keys of our own, we are forced to wander endlessly here. These doors will not open for us. We are not as fortunate as you. Something was taken from here a long time ago. Where did you hide it? Only you know where it is now. Where what is now? I need to know that. Without keys of our own, we are forced to hear one, oh, go wonders. Well, wander is what I'm trying to say. Hey, I'm trying to talk. Hey, I'm trying to talk to you. You may not be in control now, but do not lose hope, Dreamer. There are some who still believe in you. Okay, should I just try opening some doors? Oh. Where does this bring me? This brings me to spooky place number one. Great. What looks to be a dead whale. Stranger. Hi, are you going to talk to me? These rooms are full of broken things, but at least in here I can see who you really are. The world that you created above this one, didn't you make it to protect this place or to hide it away. Either way, it's become more powerful than you. Okay, what what do? Also the door went away, so I don't know exactly where I need to go. That's a that's a beached whale. Do I need to save you somehow? Mr. Beach whale? Hello? No? No? So much pain. So much pain. So much pain. I agree. You are in pain. I was asking how I could save you. Hi, are you a person? Nope. Hi, are you a person? Nope. I guess follow the blue. I'm gonna follow the blue and see where it takes me. Why do you have blue all over you? So much pain. Okay, so just a lot of pain. I'm getting a lot of pain vibes here. Please don't grab me. Okay, thank you. It's a little spook there that he was gonna grab me. Oh, hey, another key. And another window. Anything? Nothing. How do I how do I get back? This place is quite creepy. I'd like to go back. And I'm assuming oh okay, so this should bring me back. Come here, hand. Should bring me back, right? Ooh, we never looked at the option of... Hold on. There's not an option there. Ooh, okay. So, I see what's happening. Need to go through each door, find the key, make our way through. 
I think I'm going to stop this here. And then next episode, I don't know how close we are to the finale because there's still two days left, technically. We're just going to... I thought I was going to save it here. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to save. And we'll see how this wraps up. And maybe we'll almost be done. Goodbye, everybody.